Hello, my name is Jean-René de Cotre. I'm a flight instructor in Ottawa, Canada. I go by the username Aeroposte, airmail in French. And um, in this video, I'd like to talk about the operation of a VOR. I found, uh, find often that students or pilots have difficulty understanding how a VOR operates. They have confusion about the to, from, and right, left, or which direction they should be going to intercept a, a radio. So I hope this video helps to clarify this with examples using an iPad application. The application that I'm using here is called Navigator. For uh, It's for iOS. You can find it on the App Store. It, uh, it represents the operation of a VOR. So in the center you see here the hexagon that represents a, a VOR. Uh, the white line represents a radial outbound from the VOR, which is the defined one. On the left-hand side, you've got a couple of dials here. The top one we were going to ignore, that's for VOR number one, which I pushed off to the side here, so we, it's a little bit less cluttered. VOR number two is the one we're going to be looking at. The next screen after that is an ADF. And again, I'm not going to use that for this video. And the last one is a heading indicator. You can see if I turn the airplane around, you can see that the heading indicator moves um, the ADF as well, but let's ignore that. So the way the VOR is designed, it has two big parts to it. One is the radio, which you have to set and identify. So you have to set a frequency based on what you'll find on a map. And you will have to listen to a signal on the radio to see what will be, um, the, 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 you have the correct station. The additional thing is the, is the dial here, or the display. And the display shows you which radial you're interested in. And it has a small uh, knob to the right-hand bottom, the left-hand bottom, rather, that's called an OBS, Omni-Bearing Selector. And the, the, so the moving card can be moved as well. And as you see, it actually changes where your radial is or what, what radial you're interested in. I kind of like the 060 one here, just because it gives me a lot of room to work. And um, it has a couple of indications. It has an, a, a needle. So this is the kind of the, the white part on the left side that should be in the middle. And if I actually move the airplane closer to it, you'll see that needle actually centers. Um, the other thing it has is an indication which is FR at the bottom. And if I move the airplane, it goes to 2. So what the FR means is that if I were flying on a heading of 060, either on the radial or parallel to the radial, then um, I would be going away from the VOR. If, on the other hand, I was down at this side here and I am flying on a heading um, towards 060, then I would be going towards the VOR. I would be heading closer to it. So, so it says 2, as you can see. Um, the other part, of course, the, where the needle works is it's telling us in which heading we need to go to intercept the radio. So if you look at this, you'll see that on the left-hand side here, I have the, uh, the mark that is showing me to go to a heading like 330 to go and intercept. So if I were to fly to 330, then, whoops, uh, then I would actually intercept and come on in. Once I'm on the other side now, it's telling me that I need to fly a heading of roughly 150 to get to it. Correct? That makes sense? So, I'm going to be flying to it, and you can see it intercepts, it and, and it goes. The other thing is, um, therefore, the other thing that I need to point out to you is as I, as I am getting closer to the VR, you'll see the from will disappear, and the there is nothing that will appear, right, like right now was I'm just a beam the VOR, and then when I come a little bit farther, it comes up to 2. So what that's saying is essentially during a, a certain distance, it's uncertain whether I am actually on the 2 or the from, and, and this is called the zone of uncertainty. So you can imagine a um, line's par perpendicular, if you want, to the radial that's called the zone of uncertainty. Um, a couple of, uh, of myths. One particular one is that if you are, uh, that you should be using the needle, if the needle is to the left, you should be turning to the left 
to intercept the radial. And in this particular case, as you can see, if I turn to their left, it's going to bring me to 330, and I'm going to do a doing that. But on the other hand, if I were to position like that, if I'm flying inbound to the on the radial or parallel to the radial, then the indication of left and right is not true. For instance, now if I wanted to intercept the radial, if I were to turn left, as the um, the CDI is telling me, then I would be going actually away from the VOR as I'm turning away. I'm going and I'm going the wrong, wrong direction. So if I want to go back here and then so really what I should be interpreting is is saying not left or right but what heading is the needle pointing to in this case it's pointing to 330 so let's pick another example here I'm going to move to a different uh, situation in here let's say something like this so now um, if I want to know where my airplane is, I actually know where it is, but if I wanted to know where it is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make sure that I have a from indication, which I do, and I'm going to turn my uh, indicator until the needle centers. So now what I've done is the needle is centered, I'm right on the, basically telling me I'm on the radial, and I'm on the front side. So this is saying that relative to the VOR, I am, so east towards, so basically east-southeast, uh, a heading of 105, roughly. So that tells me essentially where I am, just by turning that uh, the needle knob. If I wanted to know which direction I need to fly, I can do one of two things to get to the VR. I, if I one of two things, I can turn this around all the way so that it points, that it says two, and then, or I can just look at the bottom of the needle, and the bottom of the needle is telling me 285. So 285 is the heading I would need to fly. Now, if I were to fly 285, of course, you'll see that um, if I deviate, if, if I start flying here, and I deviate a little bit, the it would look like this is um, not sensing properly because it's telling me to turn to the right to re-intercept. But in fact, again, if you look at the heading it's telling me to fly, the needle was pointing to a direction, a southish direction, so it's telling me to go towards that. So this is when, when you hear people talking about reverse sensing on a VOR, what it means essentially is that you're flying on the inbound on a radial, and therefore you're flying towards the radial, but the radial, the VOR is saying from. So it is actually uh, giving you the correct information if you look at what heading the needle is pointing to, but you can't trust the left or right. So in my mind, what I've always uh, learned then or, or assumed is forget about uh, left or right at the VOR, look at rather where the heading it is, is the needle is pointing, and you'll always be correct. So hope this helps. Uh, just remember three things. Essentially, you need to tune and identify, which you can't see from here. To or from means that you are flying, if you were flying on the heading that is up at the top of the VOR, then you would be, if you were flying away, from, on that heading you would be going on the from side, you would be going away from it. If you are on the other side and it says to, then you would be flying towards the VOR. So, and the th third thing is the needle points to the heading that you need to fly to intercept the radial and not uh, not left or right. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm.